history shared and a future to build. The King and Queen officially welcomed to France by President Macron and his wife during a rare ceremony at Paris's Arc de Triomphe. French crowds delighted that a king is back on French soil. Their last monarch forced out of this place in the 1700s before meeting his fate at the guillotine. But King Charles and Queen Camilla had a much more friendly welcome at the Palace of Versailles, a magnificent state banquet hosted in their honour. And of course, uh, President Pompidou hosted my mother here at the Palace of Versailles on her second state visit in 1972. I was reminded recently that when she returned the courtesy with dinner for the President and Madame Pompidou at the Hotel de Charost, they ran into a little more difficulty. Our embassy tried to bring several cases of English wine over from Hampshire for the banquet, only to be prevented by a customs official at Oli. Work hard, play hard for the Queen and Madame Macron. After a comfortable win from the First Lady, the pair launched a new UK-France Literary Prize, celebrating the importance of breeding and the ties between Britain and France. Monsieur le Président, Madame la Présidente. Meanwhile, the King became the first member of the British royal family to address French senators from their chamber. This is my 35th official visit to France. Each and every time I have been struck by the warmth of the welcome I have always received and by the immense good that can be accomplished when France and the United Kingdom work together. Diplomatic ties strengthened. It took a full minute and a half for the standing ovation to conclude. Inside the chamber was Senator Eric Bouquet, chair of the France-UK Friendship Group. So of course it's a great opportunity uh, because Britain and France must go on having regular and strong relationship. We are neighbours, we are still, you're not in the, in the European Union anymore, but you are still part of Europe, okay? Dover is still the same distance from Calais, so nothing has changed. The King and Queen visited a flower market named after the late Queen Elizabeth II. Then, a short walk to Notre Dame Cathedral to meet firefighters who tackled the devastating blaze in 2019 and those working to restore the famous landmark. After French media leaked eco-friendly train travel plans, their majesties flew to Bordeaux for security reasons. 39,000 British expats live in Bordeaux, the highest number in France. And the king and queen visited a British-run organic vineyard in the heart of wine country. Defence was also on the agenda showing NATO's strength as the war in Ukraine rages on. Wherever the King's been this week, he's genuinely received a really warm welcome. Six months ago, a tour like this would have seemed impossible. Buildings literally burning, sparked by the French pension riots. The Foreign Office sent their majesties to France to strengthen relations. Whether that now translates into better trading partnerships in the post-Brexit world remains to be seen. Cameron Walker, GB News, in France.